All right, guys, Mads Avits, and welcome back to episode three of the Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. You guys are loving the support lately, and it's been absolutely fantastic. To start this episode off, guys, just because League One, you've got a lot of games to get through, I'm going to show about three or four games worth of highlights, guys, just so we can get through them a little bit quicker, and then I will bring you some live uh, commentary ones as well towards the end of the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, be sure to subscribe if you're new around here, and hopefully we can get get through the season and get promoted like we wanted to. So let's jump into the highlights and then I'll be right back with you after.
All right, guys, so you did just see the highlights of them two or three games. It was. And as you did see just there before you come cutting to me, we have actually signed Rodgers, Morgan Rodgers, on loan from Lincoln City. In the game, he's on loan from Lincoln City, but in real life, he's actually on loan to Lincoln City from Manchester City. So we've actually loaned him because he's a very, very exciting prospect, and I think he will help us out a lot. So as you can see, we are on deadline day. Uh, I don't really think we're going to be looking to sign any more. Just for some fact, we can't afford it anyway. And plus, I want to start bringing in some good youth academy prospects. We are due a youth report back very, very soon. The support you've got to be in showing on the season has been phenomenal. So we're going to get through deadline day. And I am going to look to sell on a few players. So having to go with this squad, this squad's more than capable enough to do it up against Blackpool. So let's jump into this one, guys. And hopefully we can get another win. Hopefully, oh, we're at home, sorry, I thought we were away. But we are back at the Stadium of Light. I think we've played about two or three away games in a row. But we're back with our home fans. And hopefully they can spur us on to another win and climb this table up to the top where we belong. Hopefully we can get off to a good start then, guys. Is Wilkes going to make the run? Go on, Wilkes. You've got the pace. Oh, we get a corner though. We get a corner out of that. Pearson will whip the ball in. Can we get a head on it? Oh no, it's come through. Two back to Will. He's managed to get back. Oh, right, having a mare. Oh my god. Just clear the ball. We all we had to do was clear the ball. What is going on? That is not what we needed. Been dominating this game. I think that's their first attack, or at least their first into our box. And that's just sloppy from right. Go on, brilliant. Wilkes is in. Finesse. Get in. What a finish. 1 1. Malik Wilkes. That left foot is a stunning left foot. Rogers did really well to hold the ball up. Pulls it back in and a beautiful finish from Malik Wilkes. This guy is only going to get better. Especially in the second season when dynamic potential kicks in. That's why guys at the beginning of this video um, you did have like three just highlight games. Because there's that many games in League One. I don't want to be 20 episodes into the first 20 episodes into this series and we'll still be in the first season. It's just not going to be worth your while so I thought try and speed it up the best I can Rogers beautiful in behind oh we go take a lead there 2-1 we turn the game on its head within the space of five minutes beautiful finish from Rogers calm as you like so I hope you do appreciate me do doing highlights like that i won't do it all the time but i will do it every now and again where it might be just an episode where like five or seven games are banned win that power oh, yeah. and that is it guys it's 2-1 at half time play it quickly mcgee quick feet Oh, Rogers is in again. He makes some good runs, this guy. Can he finish this? And he does on his debut. Morgan Rogers bags us two goals. What a finish. This guy seems... He's probably going to be our best striker up top. Charlie White, I like him, but he's just not got the pace and the ability what Rogers feels like. Rogers feels so, so good. And what a finish. To make it two goals on his debut, can he make it a hat-trick? We've still got more than half an hour to play. He well, truly could. And out to Hume. Hume out wide to Mighton. Mighton's in here behind. Is Rogers going to make the right run? Inside to Rogers. Turns. Rogers into Wilkes. Can Wilkes get two? And he does. We are on fire down that left, right hand side. Sorry. Wilkes and Rogers. Rogers is involved in everything what we've done good today that's brilliant i'm actually going to bring on gooch instead of might and um rest might and we've got this game in the bag wilkes and rogers are playing absolutely unbelievable for us didn't look brilliant brilliant pearson's in brilliant run this can we get morgan his hat trick 
Yes, we can, you beauty. Get in, Morgan Rogers on his debut at the age of 17 grabs a hat trick for Sunderland. You remember that name, guys? That wasn't Gooch that gave the ball away, was it? He's not even tracking back. Oh, no, Wright did make a beautiful tackle and they've grabbed a one back in the 79th minute. It's 5 2, but the game's dead and buried. It was Yerry Yates, I think. Yeah, it was. Oh my god, Stewart's done him. He's got the pace to beat him as well. All the way. Can Stewart finish it? And yes, he can. Wow, what a super sub. He's come on on that left hand side and he feels very, very good as well. It feels really good to use. I think that pace. Bringing him on so later on he can just run past him. And with him being, I think he's nearly six foot, is he? And it's been that. Blow it, ref. Blow the whistle. And that is it, guys. We win 6-2 against Blackpool. Let's see where that puts us in the table. And we'll move on from there. Morgan Rogers getting his match ball well-deserved. Six attempts, three goals. A brilliant return for a 17-year-old. Exciting prospect. He's more than that. I'm hoping he can go on and be in them 90s that has potential to be special up there with the Mbappes, the Haalands, the Neymars, the Messi, the Ronaldos. He will be there watching, just listen and watch guys. Big steep to guide, but seven points is not a lot. We can easily gain that back up Ipswich with a few losses and draws. But guys, I'm probably going to end that here for this episode. I don't want to make it too long for you, don't want to boys. Let me know down below in the comment section. Should we use the Youth Academy a little bit more? Let me know how you think of the series, but without further ado, I'll see you in episode 4.